Good day, my fellows, and welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a honeycomb farm, especially now in 1.17. Honeycomb is a really useful item, for example, for crafting candles and also um, for uh, waxing copper, which is going to be a really frequently used building block. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to build like this one single cell design and an infinitely expandable one. Those are basically the same, but there's like a teeny tiny difference, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can build these. Also, I'm going to show you how to get. Uh, actually bees and how to breed them so everything that you need to know in order to get a whole lot of um, Honeycomb so yeah, before we start with the actual farm uh, I'm going to show you how to get bees and get for example a beehive um, And how to breed bees actually in a location where you want them now The very first thing you do want to do is find a beehive you can find those in forests and uh, flower fields um, So yeah, just basically uh, in a lot of places uh, you're going to come across one of these but yeah, I said forests and stuff like that uh, are good. Now, if you want to find uh, a beehive that has at least two bees in it, okay, that's like what you want, uh, because then you can just breed them up wherever you want. And the only thing you need is a silk touch tool, for example, an axe. Uh, also, the bees around you that are not in the beehive are going to get angry at you if you destroy the uh, beehive. So if I, for example, break that now, these bees are going to be, um, yeah, they are going to be attacking me. But there are some bees in here, so I can just go ahead and break this and take it with me. And um, now wherever I place it down, the bees in the beehive will stay there. So then I'm going to show you how to build this farm design. You can do it with the bee nest as well as with the beehive. There's no difference in that. The only difference is that the beehives are craftable and the bee nests aren't. You can only find them. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to build this farm now. And you can just easily breed the bees up in there with flowers. So just feed p both bees uh, one flower, for example a poppy. And then they're going to make a baby bee and in that way you can just expand the farm and how you're going to do that I'm going to show you in a second. Now here's all the materials that you are going to need in order to build this farm. One redstone, three poppies, a hopper, a beehive, a dispenser, two observers and a building block. Like this is just for one cell for the whole thing you're also going to need two chests and also some glass to surround it. I mean of course you don't have to use glass but I think it just looks good. And then you can also, yeah, as I said, use the bee nest instead of the beehive. Also, you're going to need some shears uh, that you can fill the um, dispenser up with. Um, so yeah, just nine for one dispenser is the maximum, so I would do that. Um, so yeah, and let's get right into how to build this farm. For the one single cell, you want to start off by placing down your double chest and then make a hopper lead into that. On top of the hopper, you're going to place your beehive or bee nest. I'm going to use the bee nest now. And behind the bee nest, you want to place an observer facing into it. So it should look a little bit like this. Now go on top and take your observer and jump and place it down so it faces down like this, so the arrow points up. After that go ahead and take your building block and place it on top. It has to be a solid block, it cannot be glass, uh, that way it wouldn't work. And then you have to take your dispenser and go down and place it from the bottom so it's facing down into the uh, bee nest. Now the last thing for you to do is place the redstone dust on top of here and then the old farm is already completely set up. Now you can also take your three poppies or whatever flower you want and place a row of them right here. And then you can go ahead and catch that in with glass if you want to, just like this. And yeah, now the last thing for you to do is put in all of your shears and get in all of your bees. Uh, if they are in a bee nest already, then they're going to co uh, come out here and then you can just go ahead and breed them. So if you already have a bee nest with bees in that, then that's of, uh, of course completely fine. Otherwise, you just have to breed the bees. Now something really important that I forgot to mention is that you have to block these CP hives from these sides too. So the bees won't pop out on those sides. If you use glass then you are still going to be able to open the chest. So yeah, this is how to build up one single chamber of these. Basically the observers are going to detect whenever something changes. And the shears are going to fire uh, when honey is in there. That For that it has to be on honey level 5. You can see the right here right now it's on honey level 0. And then the honeycomb is just going to get transferred into this chest. Now in order to expand this farm, you're going to need the same as before. Um, so then and really is no change in that except the chest. So the very first thing that you should do is breed up your bees. So just wait for them to come out and then breed them up until they are at a good level. I, I always say three bees for um, one beehive, but that's completely up to you. So you can start just for reference with, uh, with the hopper line. So we have for example one hopper. Right here, so we add four more, so one, two, three, four. Then you can go ahead and get your beehives and add them. And then also the observers. As you can see, it is really, really easy to do and really easily stackable. Like that. And then add the redstone line. 
and you are already done with the farm again. So as you can see, it's super, super simple. And now what you only have to do is build the glass border. Then you can go in and break this down and replace all of the new flowers. And I can just have to asset breed up all of your bees to fill this up. And then, yeah, your farm should be running. So it's actually that simple to stack it up, this design. Um, the design is by me, but I'm probably not the first one uh, that has designed something in this fashion. So yeah, with old features, you're basically never the first of designing something. But I'm just going to say I came up with that. Uh, if there's someone else, then um, yeah, write it down in the comments so I can give credit to him, I guess. And um, yeah, so that's just how you build a honeycomb farm. It's actually pretty efficient. Um, especially if, because you can stack it up so easily. Uh, so yeah, that's already it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, leave a like and subscribe and also go ahead and check out my other videos. I already put a lot of work in all my videos and yeah, I'd love to see some support in them, uh, obviously. So yeah, I'd really, really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with this uh, design. Um, as I said, I can show you that really quick again. Um, how to beat bees, so just take any flower, feed it to both of them. Just wait a couple of seconds and their baby bee is going to pop out. And then you just have to do it over and over again until you get enough bees in there. And yeah, that's just how you can easily expand the farm. Now, as I said, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.